A good day to you all. Welcome to this demonstration of antenna simulation using ANSYS Discovery. The immediate environment of an antenna can affect its radiation characteristics. Specifically, the electromagnetic properties of an antenna element in free space can significantly vary from its properties when mounted on its final operational platform. Today, we'll demonstrate how ANSYS Discovery can be used to evaluate the impact of Wi-Fi router platform components on the performance of a 5 GHz planar inverted F antenna or PIFA as it is commonly known. Now, if this is your first time using Discovery, be sure to review all the slides on the welcome screen as there's a lot of great information that will get you acclimated with using the tool. At the end, you can go ahead and take an interactive tour on a variety of different topics, or you can open uh, the homepage to see any active projects that you may have from a previous uh, session. Here, I'm just going to exit out of this uh, introductory screen to review all these other projects that I've been working on. Now, I'm going to be working on this uh, antenna with name selection project, and it is already open, so I'm just going to exit here. So be before we begin to solve this particular problem, let's start by looking at the geometry of the structure that we're interested in. Here, we are at the model stage. And what I'm going to do now is to turn off the visibility of the lid of this Wi-Fi router so that we can be able to see some of the different geometries that are inside this particular component. So right here, we can see the antenna here as shown by this F element and the substrate and the ground plane underneath along with a shorting pin and one of these pins that we'll use as a port. Also, to make things easier downstream as we are trying to assign materials or remove certain geometries from the simulation, we can go ahead and create a variety of named selections. Now, I've already done this because this is more of a geometry setup step. And here are some of uh, the name selections that I have. In this case, we have created name selections based on materials and also on the geometrical size. For example, if I were to create, if I were to click on the stainless steel name selection and right click, I could hide others and you can see all the different components that are going to be assigned later as stainless steel. So all of these will be assigned the stainless steel material property downstream. Now I can choose to view all by simply right clicking and clicking show all and all of the geometries should eventually come back to the screen. Now, what is of interest to us will be initially the surface mounted components. Now these surface mounted components are of interest because they are electrically small. They do not significantly affect the radiation characteristics of the antenna and they are the components placed to represent the presence of resistors, capacitors and inductors in the actual board that makes up this Wi-Fi router device. So we can see these SMCs by doing the exact same thing that we did before, where we hide all the other components and leave only the SMCs to be the ones that are visible. Once we see the SMCs in this group, we can zoom in to see just some of the details that we're looking at here. As you can see, these surface mounted components or SMD surface mounted devices are going to be so small that they don't have any significant impact on the radiation characteristics of the antenna at five gigahertz. But however, they can significantly add to the computational load of this particular simulation. So to not include them in the simulation, we could either turn them off here under the simulation uh, toggle for what to include in the simulation, or in this case, I'm just going to delete them. And for that, I'm going to click Control O, select everything that I'm viewing right now. I'm going to right click and then click Delete. Now, and all of those SMC components are deleted. Once we've done that, we can now go back to showing all, and then we can click again now on the advanced selection here to make sure that the groups that we have for our group selection go away and they're no longer in our view. Once we have done this, we'll go to the next step of accessing the refined stage where our electromagnetic simulation will take place. Before you go to that next stage of refinement, you can take this time 
So just go over your simulation, you, you, to go over the geometry by using the middle scroll button on your mouse and rotating the geometry and toggling the visibility on and off for different components to view what you are going to be using for in your simulation as far as geometries are concerned. This concludes the first part of three videos that will demonstrate how we can do this electromagnetic analysis inside ASSIS Discovery.